So today we have several targets to shoot. I have my actual target, and these will just be on there. This is my zombie that I drew. Pretty good, huh? It's got some green ooze coming out. That's creepy. You can see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this was donated by my sister. She drew it for me, and then I... She colored it, and then I colored a little bit of it. Now I just have a Ted's Outdoors. I just have a target with a smiley face. And then I have the ultimate target. Something that will motivate me so hard to hit it. Which is spam. <laughs> I'll visualize in my mind this being an actual camp spam. And then I'll probably get a bullseye every single time. Ted's Outdoors, I had movies. Yep. As you can tell, we do not sponsor spam. I'm just shuffling this so I can take in the targets. I really hope it's not drained. Okay, so I have a peg. Whoops. Okay, I have a peg. I'm just going to stick this through the target and put it in that target over there. I will probably do a video soon um, on how to make the target because it is a homemade target. Yeah, I'll do a video soon on how to make that target. It was quite easy. And so that'll be coming soon. That's about right. Yeah. Okay, what I'll be using today... I'll be right here. What I'll be using today to shoot these arrows, and if my friend wants to shoot them, he can too, is the Pathfinder Slingshot. I don't know exactly what this is called, but it's on selfrelanceoutfitters.com. It's Dave Canterbury designed. You don't really want your feathers wet. Um, and it, I actually used this yesterday for the first time shooting arrows. Previously I just shot in rocks through it. And it worked quite well. It takes some getting used to because it's not like a normal bow or even a sling bow but once you get used to it and learn how to use it it's fairly easy to use what I like to do instead of putting my fingers in the loops is I created two knots and these two knots right here are what I hold on to so let's wrap my two fingers around that get in stance actually Miss! A little delayed, but okay. There we go. Snap Hit! Done. Snap done. 90 points! Right I'll shoot a couple more and then you can shoot if you want. You want to? Uh, sure. Action. Oh, that's a hit. Uh, it didn't hit the zombie though. Well, first, go. Whoops. Even proper time. Oh, right in the eyeball. I was aiming for the mouth, but eyeball works too. <laughs> as long as oh. he's dead. Tarp fell down a little bit. Again, it, it takes a lot of practice. Yeah. I got kind of frustrated with it yesterday. Um, you're going to want to put your arm yeah. through the slot thing. Right. Through the bottom. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. 
should say. I've used a slingshot like that before. That didn't really work. Oh. Try again. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just about to shoot. No, it is. Way too low. Okay, those were a little so bit. So I'm afraid too low. to like shoot it way off, so. Yeah. To try one more. Yeah, go ahead. So those were just a little bit too low. And so, yeah, don't be afraid to shoot it far off because it's not yeah. going to go off into the woods. There's no way. Just shoot it where you want to shoot it. And because if you're worried about hitting it, everything around it, you're not going to hit it accurate. Like, oh, no. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. I just didn't want it like going off there. Yeah. Anyway, you can find it. Kill that zombie, Adam. It's going to eat you. Why? Oh, it's too low again. Yeah. I'll go try again. Here, maybe it'll be more motivated to spam. Yeah, let's spam. Putting spam target out. Spam lovers, please don't watch this. What? You want some spam? coming down. It's pouring down rain, by the way. Okay. Hey, everybody. Probably head back now. Oh, yes. perfect. Good job. Spam. In the face. Or in the A, or whatever that is. Are you ready? Yes. Boil the foil. So we hit the, uh, Actually, you hit lower than mine. Yeah. I did. He hit between Spam and Ted's Outdoors and I had. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Oh. Action. So we're just going to shoot the zombie now. Green with red hair. We got some... Flesh here with some bones. Got some flesh here through the face and blood, bloodshot eyes, whatnot. Right in the head. Ow. I prefer to get it in the eye because then it has a better chance of it going to its brain. But it's a piece of paper. True, but I'm practicing for the zombie apocalypse. But who said it was gonna happen? <laughs> no one. Although it'd probably be a lot harder to hit a zombie because they're like, yeah. moving. They could be running zombies. Running zombies are the worst. You ready? Yeah. They could be talking zombies. Oh, perfect. Oh, in the eyeball. Yeah, I'm gonna need a close up on that. Oh, whoops. Ouch. I'm just showing it in the eyeball. That zombie did not have a good day. Has any zombie ever had a good day? <laughs> Probably. Every zombie has his day. Just like a dog, I guess. I don't know. In the neck. Ouch. That might kill it. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, if, are they if they breathe, I don't know. Are they Walking Dead zombies? Are they World War Z zombies? I mean, there's so many different zombies out there. Are they plants versus zombie zombies? Yeah. Because then, you know, taking off the armies, they slow them down. Plants versus zombies. Yeah. Ah, missed. Yeah. An extra set of bands. Oh, oh. snap. This is going to be a long video. Action. Again. That was cool. Wow. 
Wow, hit it twice. Oh, that's good, man. Perfect. Oh, uh, nice in job. Inside of the head. Great job. That, that might have killed it. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Wait. Oh, I thought the rain was stopping. Oh. <laughs> um. In the hair. Yeah, I'll put that in the blooper video. Airplane in the background. Yep. So Ted is featuring <laughs> Isaac and Adamus. So what? Ted is making a video. It's a bloopers video of all the nutso things we do. It'll be called Living Outdoors, Volume One, or Life Outdoors, or something like that. How about just bloopers in the outdoors? Yeah. Because, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Okay. But something. Yeah. You can just put that in there. Dang oh. it. Wow. <laughs> well. So, thank you guys all for watching. I apologize for the rain noise. It is completely pouring out right now. But we decided to come down anyway because we're Oregonian and it rains all the time here. <laughs> and so we just, we get used to it, you know. So this was the first testing of the Pathfinder Slingshot. I'll give you guys the exact name. And this is sold on selfreliantoutfitters.com. It, it is very, very cheap or very, very low cost. But it is high quality, I think. And these bands are about 42 pounds. I have 52 pound bands if I need them. But I, 42 pounds is fine. And I think it works really well. I've seen a lot of people diss. Um, this slingshot say it's bad. It doesn't really work very well. But they only did first impression videos. They didn't get to learn how to use it. They would just go out the first time they would use it. And it, they'd be like, oh, it's garbage. It doesn't really work very well. Because it's, kind of, it's kind of odd to get used to. But once you get used to it, it works really well. It does. And so I completely recommend this. As far as I can tell, it's a good product. I've used it several times now, and yeah, I'd recommend it. So thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys for enduring the rain with us, <laughs> and see you next time.